next step is how to configure AFL's Optical Fiber Identifier OFI-BI PM. From the touchscreen, you should place the unit in the appropriate mode by toggling the button in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. The PM button changes the power meter and the ID button changes the identifier mode. In the lower left corner of the screen is the menu button, which is used to configure the device. Once this button is selected, the menu screen will appear, which, depending on the model you have purchased, will have the options of action mode, identifier setup, power meter setup, utility, and ONU setup. ONT is another name used in North America for ONU, which depicts fiber to the home. Selecting the action mode button allows the user to choose a combination of speed of measurements and device sensitivity. There are three to choose from, fast, normal, and fine. Fast is the fastest and most coarse, while fine is the slowest but most discerning. For most non-bend and sensitive fibers, fast is sufficient. For more advanced bend and sensitive fiber, fine is the appropriate setting. Exit the menu by selecting the escape button in the lower left corner of the screen. Next, modify the identifier mode. Here you can select the tone you will be trying to detect. If you select auto, the device will automatically detect any tone or traffic which is present on the fiber. Save your selection by pressing the return arrow at the bottom right of the screen. To exit the screen without saving your selection, you can return to the menu screen by selecting the escape button in the lower left corner of the screen. The utility button on the menu screen allows the user to set features like the buzzer volume, the brightness of the display, timeouts for the display, auto power off, and device information such as the serial number. Exit the menu by selecting the Escape button in the lower left corner of the screen. 